Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. During this amazing time we're going through with the coronavirus and everything else that's happening around the world, I hope everyone is doing well. Wish you all the best. What we're going to do today, I'm going to make you something very, very simple. I'm just going to show you what I make my tea every morning. Um, this is a simple tea ginger powder, uh, turmeric powder, and 100% pure organic matcha. Now, you don't have to use the matcha because that's not available for everyone or some people may not like it, but trust me, it's good for you. Real ginger powder, real turmeric powder. You can also use the turmeric and ginger tea that you can get at your local um, national name brand. I'm gonna name one of them just in case because it's really, really good, but nothing beats this. The PC brand one. And I shouldn't say that, and I'm not advertising, I don't work for them or anything, but they have a very good a ginger and turmeric tea. But this is by far better because you're getting the 100% natural. It's, it's always going to be better because it's real, it's right there. And those companies try to do the best they can with whatever way they have to deliver the product to you, and that's always difficult. So this is from the National Bulk Place. At the high quality bulk place that sells this. This is real, there's no fillers in here. I tested it, and it's real ginger powder. Same as this ginger uh, turmeric powder, again, it's the same thing. Good quality. <laughs> and you may use brown sugar, white sugar, it's basically killing the purpose of it being healthy. You may use brown sugar, I use honey, local, natural, unpasteurized, raw honey. That's the best way to do it. And of course, milk. Now, there's another thing, um, you don't have to, like, as I said, you don't have to add the matcha, but I do. The ginger powder, put it here. Be careful, it's very powerful, very pungent, but very healthy, especially in these times um, when your health needs, your immune system needs a big boost. Um, and turmeric, and those two have been proven, this actually works, they are proven to fight a lot of the bacteria in your body and they're basically they boost your immune system to levels that are really really good for you to fight everything and anything um i should say this now we should always practice good health practices not only when you get sick see if we always do good things then the likeliness of getting sick is much much less so don't wait until you get sick to start practicing good health practices. Um, anyway, on to the tea. So I'm gonna add what the hell? Let's add the whole matcha thing. Now you don't have to do that. Matcha is not a required element, but it does help. And to this, I am going to add some cold milk. Stir very vigorously. Stir, 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 stir very, very well. Very well. Now, why the cold milk is because I don't want it to clump up. I want to make sure it's all, all melted right through very thoroughly. Or have yourself one of these really super quick whippers from Nespresso. It costs about, I think this one here costs about $150, but it's worth every penny. I've been using it for a year and a half. This came as a gift from my brother for my birthday two years ago, and I've been using it ever since. So this is what I do right here. The whip and bowl work just as fine, but this is much faster and much more consistent. There we go. And we'll let that whip. This has the possibility of whipping it cold, as you can see right here. And look, you can see right through. You can see inside. It's okay. It's like it's fusing everything together and it's making sure every particle has been well mixed in. And you get the maximum. Okay. I do that. You can run it all the way until it stops because it will stop automatically or you can stop it and I do it once on hot. This 
hot one goes super speed and it creates a lot of foam. So I'm not going to go all the way to the end, I don't need to. But this will ensure. So with matcha tea and these things, it's better to whip them very cold first and then add your boiling water. That's when you get the maximum out of it. Whip them really cold water and then add boiling water. And that's what I'm doing. I have my boiling water right here. My honey right here. Mm. Now I have some fresh lemon. If you want to add some lemon, you can do that as well. I'm going to stop this. Doesn't need any more. Again, good local honey. Uh, local honey, I tell you why, because it's on all all Delta. So they, what they do is a lot of the commercial honey that comes from God knows where, most likely China or wherever, is not real honey anymore. They, they put sugar in it, and I don't know what else they do. All kinds of things to it. So the best thing to do is get local honey and usually raw honey or unpasteurized. Make sure it's raw now. It's always healthier. That means none of the good uh, qualities have been killed or removed. Make sure every bit is, is used here. Now this tea, it is a type of tea, or well, it is a tea, you can drink it hot, or you can drink it cold. I don't suggest you reheat it in the microwave because it's not a good thing, you're basically killing half the good qualities when you do that. But some people like to do that, and that's fine, you know. But this is it right here, look at this, fantastic color, and it might, if you add the matcha, it'll take you a bit to get used to the table, but believe me, the benefits are out of this world. There we go. Gonna stir this as well. And at this point, right now at this point, if you want, you can add a little drop of honey, uh, of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Not much because it's already funny. You just add to taste because it's gonna it's gonna be a more, very punchy. And make sure it's well stirred and enjoy it. It's very good. More than that, it's very healthy. Now this is a ritual for me. Every single morning, I never miss. I have one of these, and I do drink it with the match. Um, Believe me, it makes a big difference. And again, I have to emphasize this one more time. Don't wait until you're sick to you start practicing good health practices. You should always be ready. It's like praying to God just before you know you're going to die and say, please forgive all my sins. It's not going to do anything. Same idea here. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we love you. And until next time, please take care. See you soon.